Hi, I'm Steve Good and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. Just wanted to put together a video tonight to try to help explain uh, some questions I've been getting about my blog. Uh, in some cases there's some things that aren't very obvious about my blog and in other cases there are things that are just downright confusing. So I just want to make a quick video to talk about some of these issues so I can have this uh, to point to when people have problems. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is when you visit my blog uh, at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com uh, most people come here to look for the patterns so before we get into the detail of the blog itself I want to talk about the patterns let's say you've come to my blog and you've decided that you want to uh, download the pattern for this uh, star bowl and you click on the free download button in most cases that will open up the pattern right inside your browser and at the top of your browser you'll have different uh, icons that you can use to either print or save uh, the pattern and one problem that people have been having with my patterns especially recently uh, with a few of the smaller patterns uh, is that they don't print with the correct size and I want to show you something here that's real important about Adobe Acrobat which is the uh, file format that I use to create my patterns they're PDF files when you click on print and this print dialog box opens up there's a couple things that you need to be aware of uh, the most important is down here under page handling there's a setting called page scaling if this is set to anything other than none the pattern will not print to the correct size sometimes so uh, you want to make sure this is set to none before you begin the print uh, that's a real big issue and we had that problem recently on the uh, gift card holder that we built uh, if you cut the pattern out with this not set right the gift card wouldn't fit in the holder and I had several emails about that so take note of that the other thing that a lot of people ask me about is wasting paper uh, they get this up and they hit print and they don't necessarily want this title page on every pattern they print out if you look up here under uh, print range you have different options where you can uh, print the current page in this case if I clicked on this and hit print it would only print the page that we're currently pointing to right here at the time so in this case it would be the uh, the title page but if I came to here and I scroll down to the pattern and then click print and if I do current page you'll see that page shows up and now if I hit print I, it will only print that page the next feature you have that's real helpful is say like the pattern is over two or three pages you can click on pages and tell it to do pages uh, we'll, we'll just make something up here let's say three uh, and then use the little dash key and six and what that will do is print pages three to six of the pattern and that'll save you a lot of paper and a lot of ink so those are two features that you want to look for in the print dialog that I get a lot of questions about and both of those are real helpful so watch for that okay now the next thing well let me do one more thing with the pattern here let me open it up one more time and show you another thing I get a question about a lot of people open this pattern up in their browser or they just open it up and uh, they they don't know how to save the pattern onto their hard drive so they end up printing it out just and that's the way they keep all their copies the easiest thing to do is to click on this little uh, floppy disk icon up here and that will open up your save a copy dialog box and at that point you can download these files into any folder you have on your hard drive and I know a lot of you don't know how to navigate your hard drives very well uh, so one of the things that can be kinda easy to do and if you need help just let me know is to create a folder on your desktop and if you use this little arrow and just keep backing up you'll eventually get to your desktop and if you've created a new folder on your desktop right here then you can just download all the patterns to that and that's a pretty simple way of keeping them all saved and uh, someplace where you can find them so uh, you don't necessarily have to print the patterns out as you open them from my website you can always go back and save them <clears throat> okay now another thing about the patterns that I get a lot of questions about uh, a lot of people will uh, lose a pattern that they've downloaded some time ago or they've heard about a pattern and they just have come to the website to find it um, I don't keep this updated as well as I should but usually once a month once a month or so I'll go back and I'll add all the older patterns to my free pattern catalog which is this little graphic right here so if you come to my website 
and you click on this right here it will open up the free pattern catalog now this is getting pretty large right now and I'm probably gonna have to divide it over more than one page here before too long but if you come to this link you can scroll down and you'll see all the older patterns or at least all the older patterns that I've got updated and uh, I'm probably a month and a half behind right now but uh, you can always come here and find the older patterns and again you just click on the picture and that will open up uh, that pattern and you can either print it or save it okay uh, a couple more things this icon right below the catalog that says scroll saw workshop videos if you click on that that will take you to uh, my YouTube page where all my videos are and uh, I think there's like a hundred and thirty of them now and they range from all different types of topics and projects and uh, a lot of Corel draw videos uh, a lot of just uh, making projects and some uh, basics about scroll sawing so if you want to uh, visit the uh, videos that's where you go to do that uh, the last one that I have down here is just a 24-7 scroll saw workshop and basically what it is is just these videos here that are being streamed all the time so it's not quite as useful you don't really get to pick and choose what you want but uh, you know if you don't have anything better to do and you just want to watch some videos that's that's the place to go okay last thing I want to talk about is this blog is getting very very large um, there's thousands of posts now and it's getting harder and harder to find things uh, that you want to go back and look for so if you look at the top of my blog you'll see this search bar and this search bar is designed to search my blog so let's say that you were looking for a pattern for a vase and you couldn't remember what date it was or whatever and you had been down here through the archives and there's just so many of them you just can't find them come up here to the search bar and type in your search term in this case I've typed in vase and hit search and that will bring up a search window that if you these top uh, few things are ads so you can skip over those unless you just want to click the ads and come down and down here is where uh, it has searched every blog post on my blog back for the last uh, two and a half years or whatever that included the word vase if you click on that now this is where the confusion comes in uh, it will only show up in the daily uh, so you have to scroll down after you've done the search and under the daily post start here graphic this is where the search will show up so it'll list all the uh, patterns uh, that had the word vase in it or all the uh, links that had the vase in it you can click on that link and come here but you have to scroll down to the daily post area and I know this is confusing but blogs are generally set up to be like a journal and unfortunately over the years I've added a lot of content to the top of the blog and the daily posts have gotten moved farther and farther down so they're a little harder to find so just a few tips uh, in this video and I just wanted to post it to give a, a a place that people could come when they have questions and watch and maybe learn a few things. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time at the Scroll Saw Workshop.